So this time around we are also going to get how can we get a reminder when we have not passed through the idea of using that pro that using polynomial equals quotient times the divisor plus the remainder. If we, can, we don't have that idea, what can we do best also to come? Can we also use the idea of longer division? It's also another alternative. We say if a polynomial Px is divided by, take an example, is divided by x minus a, where x minus a is not a factor of the polynomial, we can use longer division to obtain the remainder. When we talk about it's not a factor, that when you when you equate that one to zero and you substitute here and doesn't bring zero, it can bring any other. It means it is not a factor of that one. So what you do, we can use longer division as we are going to be looking at them in these examples. So I want you to be very careful with them. Examples. By using longer division, obtain the remainder when part a x cubed minus five x squared plus two x plus eight is divided by x c minus 1. So, can we start with that? The divider is x minus 1. So we are going to use our longer division. This is the divider which is x minus 1. So, we are dividing, we are, this is x cubed, our polynomial, minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 8. So what you do here, look at a variable. When I press it and I multiply with this, I will get x cubed. Think of a variable in terms of x. When I put it and I multiply with x, I'm getting x cubed. Which one? x squared. x squared times x, I'm getting x cubed. x squared times 1, I'm getting x squared. Then I don't have this one, I can say plus 0x. Then plus also zero. Ah, we deduct. We know the rules of division. X cubed minus x cubed, you are getting zero. Negative five x squared minus minus that, we are getting negative four x squared. This minus zero, we are getting minus two x plus eight. Also, which number can I put here? When I multiply with x, I'm getting negative four x squared. So it is automatically negative 4x. Negative 4x times x, we are getting a negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times a negative, we are getting plus 4x. Then you don't have a constant, you can say plus a zero. We deduct. This minus minus, we are getting a zero. 2x minus 4x, we are getting a negative 2x. Then plus 8 minus this, we are getting 8. So is there any number when I multiply with it, with x, I get this one. Automatically it is minus 2. Minus 2 times x, you are getting minus 2x. Minus 2 times a negative 1, you are getting a plus 2. When we deduct, this and this is 0, we are getting 6. So this one stands for the remainder. So when we are given that, our, our polynomial is given as px equals quotation x in divider of x plus remainder. So this means that, it is like if they say factorize, this means that x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 8 is the same as the quotation of x is already, is already the divider is that, we are going to say this is x minus 1, which is the divider into the quotation, which is that quotient, which is x squared minus 4x minus 2, plus our remainder, which is a 6. So we have already crossed that one. This is the way we do when you are getting that, that stuff. If they say, factorize this one. You can see this one is already a factor because it is a divider. If it is not there, you go on testing. So this one is the quotient, which we call this is the quotient, this is the divider, and this is the remainder. And we have already got the remainder. So the remainder is already a 6. So we go to part bar. 
when they say the 4x cubed is divided by that, still we use longer division. Ah, we are dividing it to, this is a divider to x plus 3, and we are dealing with our polynomial is 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 3x then plus a 2. Which number can I put upside when I multiply with the 2x? I come out with 4x cubed. Automatically, it is 2x squared. 2x squared times 2x, I'm getting 4x cubed. 2x squared times 3, I'm getting a 6x squared. Then we subtract. 4x cubed minus 4x cubed, automatically it goes. 6x squared minus 6x squared, we are getting a 0. So this one is like plus 0x, then plus o. So what are we getting? We are remaining with 3x plus a 2. So which number can I put up when I multiply? And I come out with a 2x. That means it is going to be automatically plus 3 out of 2. When I say 3 out of 2 times 2x, say 2, 2 because I mean with 3x. So here we are getting 3x. 3 out of 2 times a 3. I'm just getting, I'm only getting a half. 9 out of 2. We are getting 9 out of 2. So, we also deduct. 3x minus 3x, I'm getting a 0. So, I'm remaining with kind of our side work. 2 minus 9 out of 2. So, this is the same as negative 5 out of 2, which is the remainder. So, after coming out with that, we have free to write our polynomial in the required manner of saying that polynomial of x is the same as the quotient quotient of x times the dividing x plus the remainder but we have already got the remainder so that means 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 3x plus 2 is the same as 2x plus 3 into 2x squared plus 3 out of 2 minus 5 out of 2. So this one becomes our reminder on that. So when we are going to look at the last part, that is part C, how we can use longer division to obtain the quotient to go to obtain the quotient and at the same time the remainder but the question is saying we obtain the remainder so we are looking at the solution we have our longer division the divider is x minus one the polynomial is x cubed minus two x squared minus five x plus six which number can I put which variable can I put here? When I multiply with this, I come out with x cubed, automatically x squared. x squared times x, we are getting x cubed. x squared times 1, we are getting minus x squared. This is plus 0x plus 0. We subtract. This is 0. This minus minus, we are getting minus x squared. Then minus 5x plus 6. Which value can I put up there when I multiply with x, I get negative x squared. So we are getting minus x. Minus x times this, we are getting minus x squared. A negative times a negative, we are getting a plus. This is a plus a zero. We deduct this minus this zero. This minus minus, we are getting minus 6x plus 6. So which number can I put up when I multiply? I come out with negative 6x. Automatically, it is a minus 6. Minus 6 times this, we are getting minus 6x. A negative times a negative, we are getting a plus. When you deduct, we are getting a 0. So, for this case, the remainder 
is a zero. So you can say therefore x cubed following the procedure x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals or is the same as x minus 1 into x squared minus x minus 6 then plus a 0. Even if you don't add there, it means this function has no has no remainder. That's the way how we do numbers which are related in that way. And the moment you do like that, you'll get the best out of them.